What's good with you? What's good with you? What's good, player? We back in the game, man. We back in the building, big dog. What's good? What's up, man? Yo, so let's get right into it, man. Let's get right into it. So, uh, um, so I know you heard of Ice Spice blowing up out here. Um, what you think about Ice Spice? Like, what's your thoughts on Ice Spice blowing up? I I spice so hard, player. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> That's on fire, player. It's a hit, player. I love my spice. <laughs> I get that collab, big dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, um, so, uh, have you heard the song? Was that much? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, and I... Hold on, let me do a little promo. Hey, yo, shout out to Gotta Go Global, rocking that Gotta Go Global right now, man. Y'all need to DM them right now for, to order. <laughs> I see them in the comments. I'm just trying to shout them out. Nah, for sure, for sure. But, uh, yeah, no, I heard the song much. Much is hard. It's super hard. You know what I really like about that song is the beat. That beat goes crazy. I don't know who made that beat, but that that beat is super fire. And, and, she, was, and she was flowing on it. Like, she really... She really came with it. Like, you can't even front on her. Her her, her music tight. She tight. Hell yeah. And Hell she yeah. looked fire. Sure. And she looked fire, too, you know? Hell yeah. Uh, I know you've seen, uh, like, it going viral. What you think about uh, Charles the White um, allegedly shooting himself in the leg? They saying it's true, but they don't know if it's true or if it's fake. What you think? Oh, he shot himself in the leg? Uh, Allegedly, yeah. Hey man, you know everybody makes mistakes. Happens to the best of us. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. I guess you got to make a video and let us know. But I, nah, I like Austin White as well. You know, I nah. watch his content. I know he's controversial, but I I, I mess with Charles and White. Hell yeah, hell yeah, nah, 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 for sure, man. Dude's hella funny, man. They saying that um, they saying that uh, no, he's saying that that um, it didn't really happen. So. Um, according to him, so yeah, I don't know how that went viral, but yeah. So, um, you seen uh, do, do you know the YouTuber uh, Deji? Yeah, I heard of him. You know, I heard of him. Well, what you think about him? Uh, about a fight Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> nobody can beat a Floyd in the ring. You know, if they, if they in the right, if he in a similar weight class, pound for pound. My money's on Floyd. I don't know why all these YouTubers trying to become boxers. I mean, I think he can fight, but it's Floyd Mayweather. I, I don't know. I don't know what people think. I mean, I guess everybody just want to check, but uh, you know, I'm sure he can. I, I see he beat somebody else, so that's that's cool. I, I just don't think nobody beat Floyd though. I don't think. Would you pay to see that? Would I pay to see that? Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't really watch boxing like that, so. If I had time, yeah, but uh, I don't really watch. Uh, I don't really watch it like that. So okay, okay. I don't, I don't even know. I haven't even paid to see no fights. I ain't watched no Jake Paul fights. Nothing. Nah, for sure, for sure. Uh, so I know you probably seen this. Um, the Island Boys is beefing. You think that's for clout, or or you think they like really got a problem? You, you, you what know what mean, I'm what they mean for? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the Island Boys beefing. You think that? Uh, you think it is for real? Because I know, like, you in the TikTok. World, oh, they so. beefing with each other? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. That's gotta be fake. They're not that big. They shit. You gotta get like to the Migos level before you beef with your own brother. <laughs> nah, you probably just. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, it was all. Of, uh, it was on uh, like academics page, but yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. What you think about? Like people beefing on the internet, like beefing on the internet. I wouldn't. I would not recommend just beefing. Period. I don't do beef. I don't do all that. Um, if I'm doing a beef, it's a fake beef. I don't. I don't do real beef because right now, as you can see, it's so many people that you know you can get killed off of the internet. So it, it ain't even really worth having no beef because once people know where you at, it's too much. It's too. It's too many people that can get involved. Why the fuck would you want to have beef with somebody? Why would you want to have beef with anybody? That's going to fuck up your money, 
and then you can't you can't you can't go nowhere. You post where you at. It's it's liable for some shit to ha happen. So it's not even um I don't even fuck with beef. Uh, fake beef, that's cool. Like wrestling beef, that's cool. You know, if you wanna if you wanna fake beef on some wrestling shit, <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> but I'm not with the real beef with people getting uh you know killed and everything because people get killed over this shit, bro. So I don't really I really fuck with beef, especially on the internet, bro. Because a couple of a couple of words you say can get you can escalate so quickly. A motherfucker get fucked up over a couple words, and then if somebody do some if somebody do something to somebody, then you know that could turn into a whole another thing. You know, like that's how a lot of people get killed these days. A lot of rappers too getting killed off of a off of a comment. Like somebody make a you make the wrong type of comment on somebody's picture. They take offense. Now it's up, right? Now, yeah, not, sure. not, not necessarily got killed off of that comment, but now somebody just, somebody just, next time they see you, somebody do something to you or do something to somebody you know, now you got to get, now you got to get your lick back. Now, you know, now, so it's like, it's going to escalate. It's, it's like the, the peer pressure going to force people to, you know, nobody want to look like mm -hmm. some stuff in, so it's just, I, I'm not with all that. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Hell yeah. I think I'm a bitch. I don't care. I'm not going to engage with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to put myself out there. That's, that shit's crazy. It's not even worth it. For sure. So what you think about uh, um the whole uh, like thing that's been all over the internet about um Charlemagne's top five uh, most influential rappers? Do you, uh, do you agree with that list or, or who would you put on there? What's his top five? What's his top five? All right. His top five. I'm about to give it to you right now. His top five is... It got... I think it got um Kanye, Jay-Z, Tupac, and... Hold on. I think I'm missing somebody. Kanye, Jay-Z, Tupac, um, and... What's the other two? Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm about to just play it for you right now. Can you hear it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Awesome, I think he flexed as much as he could at this point. He's, he's, the, he's the third most influential rapper of all time. Who's the first two? Drake and Hov? Kanye and Jay? No, no. It, I, I, uh, it's, he's four. Kanye, well, I'm not going to say the number or the number, but it's four. Kanye, Jay, Pop, Wayne. He got four most influential rappers of all time. He said Kanye, Jay, Pop, and Wayne. Top five most influential rappers. Influential? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Shit, I'm with that. That's fuck yeah. Nah, he's right on the money. That's shit. Yep. I, I mean, yeah. You could add or replace a couple other people, but for sure, you got to put Wayne up there. Cause I, I, like, I like that. I like that you put Wayne in there. Cause mm -hmm. without Wayne, a lot of shit wouldn't be what it is now. Like, Wayne is underrated for sure. Not like, for sure. As, like, People don't put him in their top five like that, but like really influence wise, he up there like he top five for sure. Hell All yeah, this, ink your whole body type shit. Um, for started young money, all that like so much like there's you know Drake without Wayne, so it's like bro like no Nicki Minaj. Come on now, like no Wayne's damn near the goat, bro. Like hell yeah, <laughs> like, but you I'm, know. A lot of people might not put him at number one, you know, as far as like the music and everything. But mm -hmm. he yeah, he got the music too. But like with the influence, yeah, motherfuckers ain't fucking with Lil Wayne. He really he really underrated, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah! But like you know, it's crazy though. Uh, he actually went viral because people are saying that he left off Chief Keef. Like Chief, uh, like everybody's saying Chief Keef's supposed to be on there. What do you think about that? I wouldn't put me personally. I wouldn't put nobody on top five until they're like a little bit later in the, in their career. I think oh, okay. he's still too early. Like I think he for sure. Like for this generation, of course he's top five. Like you know, but like this generation ain't really like like Lil Wayne's era. I would say kind of already like it ended. So you could kind of like you could kind of like do this. You know how like they don't take the stats. They don't post the stats to the games over. Like yeah. Going, there's still like this whole generation, things are still happening, so you can't really 
you can't really say until like a few more years where 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 the, where Chief Keef and like the like a lot of newer artists are gonna really end up because you need more time to um, kind of see where everything falls falls into place at. But if you look at the last ten years, who's been a some the most influential? You could probably say Chief Keef's in the top five because he kicked off. If he didn't blow out of Chicago. Like, would Chicago really be on fire the way it is right now? Like, we don't – I don't know. Hell yeah, nah. He, uh, I think he's definitely up there. But, like, if we got to go with, like, like he said, top five, I think I think that's solid. I think that's solid. It's, uh, it's generation, so you can't even really say. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. It's really up to whoever, you know what I'm saying, whoever was most influential. But definitely, if I had to pick on that list who was the most, I'd probably say Kanye. Or Wayne, nah, it's kind of tough. It's between Kanye and Wayne because Wayne influenced the whole re- Yeah, he kind of influenced the whole world. But uh, what's it called? What you think about Future selling his catalog, man? For uh, for um, allegedly seventy five million. No, that's no, that's a smart move because he probably made so many songs. He already he already ran up a bag off of whatever he had. He's selling his whole catalog like. Everything, yeah, everything up until now. So, his new music, suppo- uh, uh, supposedly, I mean, like, we're not exactly sure, but um, that's, that's what they're saying. I guess you got to look at the back end how much you're getting every month. It's probably, I guess, it might be worth it if, if like, if he's looking at the back end and he only making off that whole catalog, right? Let's say he only yeah. makes two men a year, three, which is low on it. Then it would take him like thirty-two years, two, two and a half years, to get to that seventy-five. So I would say, yeah, fuck that. You don't want that. I don't like that. I'm fucking sell it. But like, if he make it maybe like five men a year, then maybe not want to sell it. Like, you just gotta look at the back end. Like, if if, if it's gonna take him hell long to get that seventy-five M's off his catalog, then yeah, I would sell it too. Cause not for sure. Off them motherfucking off them songs. Like I know. uh DS2, that's like my favorite future album. Dirt oh, yeah. Nah, for sure, that's, for sure. I know he made some money off that shit. <laughs> he had to make some money. I know he already probably, because people don't play it no more. Like, not saying it's not hot, but, you know, the music has a lifespan where it's like hot, hot. And then, you know, people play it for nostalgic purposes, but it's not going to be like when it first came out. So, if you exactly. cash in off that shit, fuck it sell that shit off and he probably got a zillion more songs in the vault why not nah, for sure like the numbers make sense at the end of the day you yeah, know what I'm saying sure. it has to cause, because at the end of the day right we don't know like the numbers behind the scenes so yeah it probably makes sense cause like you know what I'm saying it, it, uh, cause based on whatever he's getting you know what I'm saying but uh what you think somebody said that's your kids money that's true bro like oh yeah and thinking like that, he probably not thinking like that to where, you know, he might not be thinking like that. So I can't really say. Like I, I, I hear that point, but I mean, future trying to ball. I already know. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> nah, I, I mean, I think he probably. I, uh, I think he made the smart move for. Uh, <laughs> future trying to ball. Hey. That seventy five gonna go fast though. That's the only thing. You know he gonna, you know he gonna spend that shit. I know, I know what he's doing. He be balling. So I think that might last maybe five years at the most. I doubt that shit lasts more than five years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like depending on what you do with it. Uh, but but that's a lot of money though. You like you gotta invest that too. Yeah, but, invest that shit. You invest this, you you be solid. But yeah. Oh yo, uh, name name your top five baddies in the industry. That's a good one, man. I see so many bad bitches on TikTok. Um, oh, no. You know what I do? I just be scrolling TikTok, bro, and I see a bad bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language. No, you good. TikTok. I see a a baddie. Let's say that. I see, I'm scrolling TikTok. I see a baddie. Like, follow, comment every time. I'm shooting my shot, player. I shoot my shot every time, player. <laughs> oh, she's bad. Like, comment. Like, like, follow, comment every time. And, and, I'm just right. I just go. I just put real, real, and they, hey, hey, I'm real in the man, player. <laughs> real yeah. in the man, player. 
So now nah, name them though. Uh, name your top five, like that we all know, like out of all the people we know, like right now. Mm, I'm fucking with Ice Spice, man. I'm fucking with I. I like Ice Spice right now. She, mm. she fine. You know, Drake. Drake flew her out. I don't know. Said he unfollowed her the other day. I don't know what he. <laughs> Drake, what happened, player? Why you don't follow back, Queen Ice Spice, player? Uh, I like Ice Spice, bro. Um, you know who look pretty? Uh, oh no, see, I don't want to be talking about cats, baby mamas, and stuff, though. You know, yeah. <laughs> there's a couple baby mamas out there that look pretty good, player. <laughs> but I ain't trying to talk baby mamas, player. I, ain't, I don't want no beef. <laughs> Not for sure. <laughs> couple of these rappers, baby mamas, looking good, though, player. <laughs> but you know, I don't mind my business, though. <laughs> No. <laughs> nah, I hear you. Uh, shit. Uh, man, some of these TikTok girls be looking good too, bro. I don't, but they're not really in the in the music business, you know. Some of these, some of these bad, it's be bad on TikTok, bro. That's all I know. Hell yeah. Hell nah, bad. nah, like you right though, you right though, because like, um, like sometimes I be liking the regular joints, uh, way uh, like way better sometimes. Oh God, what's up, Tiny? I see you. I see you in the comments. Yeah, no, nah, but it'd it be no, nah, cause when I when I if you see my explore page, it's nothing but bitches, bro. It's all bitches shaking ass and twerking and shit. So I'm just I'm just like this every day, like 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 like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> so yo. <laughs> hey, if somebody if somebody was to come up to, uh, like was to come to you right now, right, and be like. I'll buy your whole catalog. Uh, how much would you settle for? Shit, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Uh, I'm not even gonna. I, I'm not even gonna cap, bro. I'd rather do it. Like I'll sell it to them mm -hmm. for for a cheap, really for a cheap price right now because I don't have a lot of social proof with my shit. I got a lot of views on my videos, but I don't have. I haven't made that much money with my music. So if they was gonna buy it and run it up. I ain't even mad because I can always make more music. Yeah. Nobody know my shit the way I should be known. So I would I would sell that shit for I'm not gonna say how much, but if a motherfucker made an offer, I would for sure sell that shit. Cause I know I got way more. But now if I had already hits bubbling or if I felt like I got something, then maybe I'm gonna uh hold off. But now nah, bro. Cause I know these music companies, like how you really get them streams up. Is all back end shit. It's all like you know the record labels and shit. They know how to get you on the playlist, and you know it's like it costs money. This whole game costs money. So if they was gonna take my shit and do something with it, do it. You know I don't give a fuck. I'll trade. I'll trade right now. I'll trade money for fame right now to get the name because the name is worth more than than the bag right now. Like if you get a, if you get a name, that's a that's a bag for the rest of your life. You got a name. Nah, for sure, definitely. I, I trade some shit for that. Because once I got the name, I can always make a bag. Hell yeah. So, look, we got a couple of questions coming in right now. Let's see what they got to say. I um, see y'all comments. What up, y'all? I know it's nah. kind of dead tonight. I'm not sure. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Yeah. Hold on. They want to see if it's real, player. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, 